Members of the Presidency, authorities, and distinguished guests, let me first of all thank the BBVA Foundation for choosing to highlight the science of climate change, a young, rapidly evolving science, as one of the categories for the very prestigious Frontiers of Knowledge Award. And I would especially like to thank the jury because it is truly a, the highest honor one can receive to be recognized by colleagues whom one truly admires. I discovered climate science when I was a graduate student in theoretical physics, wandering in the library, accidentally encountering papers about this extraordinary system that sustains life on Earth. It struck me immediately as a beautiful problem. Not only did it represent a remarkable intellectual challenge, but I could explain it to my family and friends. I could explain what I was working on and why. In climate science, there are strong pressures to find answers to the big questions as soon as possible. First and foremost, to describe how carbon dioxide emissions will affect the weather and climate of the world, of individual countries and regions. But there are areas of great uncertainty that constrain our ability to answer this question in detail, ranging from how the cloud distribution of our planet will change in the future, to how the oceans will take up heat and carbon, thereby determining how rapidly the Earth will warm, to how the terrestrial biosphere will react by taking up some of the emitted carbon or by contracting and emitting more carbon into the atmosphere. These problems will only be solved by combining the efforts of a variety of disciplines, observational and theoretical, and this will take time. This tension between the needs of fundamental research and the desire to answer the questions that the world needs us to answer quickly is not unique to climate science, but we feel this tension very strongly. When we decide to step back to tackle fundamental problems, we often need to focus on small pieces of the puzzle, and we naturally worry if our work will ever emerge from these details to contribute to the big issues. We may feel like Woody Allen, who remarked that everyone else is looking for the meaning of life and I can't even find my way around Chinatown. So I'm very grateful to receive this award, not just as a reflection on my own work, maybe I've been able to find my way around Chinatown occasionally, but also as indirect recognition of my many colleagues who have worked to build a solid foundation of understanding of the climate system, motivated, often working without recognitions like this, obviously, and motivated in large part, however, by the confidence that their work is necessary to reduce uncertainties in our projections of climate change. I have worked in one laboratory for most of my career. It uh, a has a long name, the Geophysical Fluid Dynamics Laboratory of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration in the United States. Any success I've achieved has been entirely dependent on my many wonderful colleagues there. It's also, it has also been very dependent on several generations of students and postdocs at Princeton University who in fact had a number of the ideas that uh, Professor Stevens alluded to that I'm recognized for. And finally, let me thank my family for their love and support. I feel truly blessed today. Thank you.